Today is January the 5th, and the last time you would have seen me was on January the 1st, where I was quite a bit hungover. Here's what I've been doing over the last three, four days. So, I'll start off with January the 2nd. So, January the 2nd involved trekking to one of the most beautiful parts of Bali, probably the most beautiful part of it I've seen whilst I've been here. This was a mountainous place where there was rainforest everywhere. I don't know. Hello, Trevor. Oh, see, it always happens. They have, um, chocolate cheesecake and, uh, strawberry cheesecake. Big, like, thick squares of them for, like, 45,000 and this is 6,000. 6,000, 60,000. So, like, I have enough and they're on break and it's oh. so fucking cheap. Oh. Well, sorry. Alright. Hmm. So yeah, it was a very beautiful place, there was all mountains, rainforest, trees everywhere, and that is where our team assembled. That sounded very gay, I'm not going to say that again. My friends and family got together, and we were given a briefing, and then we got onto some raft things, and then we went whitewater rafting. And just a heads up, it is now January, which you should hopefully know, which in Bali is raining season, so that is probably the best time to go whitewater rafting, or the worst time depending on how you look at it. It is the most dangerous time to go whitewater rafting. So the, ri the river was really strong and rough and we got stuck on rocks heaps of times and then there was times when we would hit big rock walls and sometimes we would hit other boats. We also took a moment to stop off at a beautiful waterfall which was just, it was beautiful, it was sensational. 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 Sensation. Sensational. Sensational. of hard work rowing but it was a lot of fun. That was until we came to a sudden drop off. <laughs> oh. oh no, I'm just about to talk about how we how we went off the cliff on the rafting. You wanna you wanna explain that? No. I'm offended. I this is happening. Oh, no, I have a bag of chips, actually. You can have them. What? Where? Down the side of my bed. So after we went off that big waterfall thing, we kept going for a little bit, and then eventually we ended up at the ending point where we had to climb like... I just spat. Where we had to climb like 100 steps to get to the top of this mountain, which had such a beautiful view. Wasn't it beautiful, Trevor? It was beautiful. Yep. You heard it here first. So yeah, that's basically the end of January the 2nd, which brings us to... January the 3rd. So January the 3rd we went to some beautiful, beautiful beach. Like it was awesome, there was, there was wooden huts everywhere. And you could rent a whole bunch of things to do water sports on. So me and Trev, together, and with a few others, rented a bunch of jet skis. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my god, that was so fun. <laughs> Apologize, the camera died and it got dark outside where so I was charging it, so that's why I'm now in the bathroom where it's lighter because lighting is good. But then after the jet skis, we went on a banana boat. It's really echoey in here. I don't. By the way, it's it's not even a beard, but it's grown out a bit. It's not it's not shaped or anything, but that's that's how I like it. Yeah, we fell off the banana boat a few times, so that was a real good time. But then that brought the day to an end. But then we have January the fourth. Wait, hold on. So January fourth 
which is a day that I didn't get that much footage, and that day was yesterday, and we went to a place called Water Bomb Park. This place is like a really, really awesome water park in Bali, and the rides there are crazy. There's like, there's like rides where you're like in like a tube, and then the floor like drops, and then you just kind of fall for like 25 meters. You just kind of like do a fall into water, and it's it's just a bit, it's a bit scary, but it is fun, and I can proudly say I did the 25 meter one three times. I am now a man. At the end of this day, I then had to say goodbye to a bunch of my family members that had come over from the UK. It's my auntie, my uncle, and one of my cousins, the other cousin and her boyfriend Dan are still here for a bit, but I had to say goodbye to three of my family members, and so that was quite sad because I don't know when I'm going to see them next. Hopefully, I can see them within the next year, but they live on the other side of the world, so that's probably going to be quite impossible, so it's probably going to be a few years before I see them. But moving on from that sad, depressing note, we get to January 5th. And today I did literally nothing. Me and Joe got up at like 10 or something and then got up and got breakfast at like 11. So that was nice. We sat around the pool, played a bunch of pool games. I did finally finish one of my aims for this holiday and that was to finish Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which is something I've been wanting to finish for a long time. I'm, I'm a really slow reader. Tomorrow is January 6th, which is our last full day here in Bali, so that's gonna be sad. So I'll um, see you guys in the morning. Bye bye. It's the last day in Bali, boy! But also the humidity is so high. Like, I start filming and then everything just goes blurry. What are we doing today, Tree? Ciao. What are we doing today? Um, I think we're going around the shopping centers. Yeah, boy. Because we haven't done that yet. We actually haven't, which is surprising. Are right, you ready, Trev? Yeah. Oh, if you go down, I'll just see you there. Okie dokie, son. All total. This is the last day.
night and we are starting to pack up and we have a few hours to pack up. It's not a lot, but like yeah, at the same time, it's a good amount. It's a good amount. That's all kind of my pile of crap. That's a fair amount of stuff to do. Um, and then Trev's got a bit of a mess over here, which is fine. Okay. Ah okay. Ah <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. So <laughs> it is like quarter to oh, 11. God. We're again getting picked up to go to the airport at like, what, quarter to three? So oh. we're kind of just gonna hang out for like four hours, maybe get some sleep. I'm not quite sure. Um, and to do, whilst doing that, we're gonna watch a bit of Phineas and Ferb. I'll see you in like four hours or so. Yeah, boy. How do you feel about leaving? No. Oh, thank you. Cheers. So at the airport about four hours early, so that's fun, and our flight's delayed half an hour, so that's even, that's even funner. We're in an empty airport. Look, there's like literally nobody anywhere. There's nothing left really for me to say or do on this vlog, so I'm just gonna kind of end it there. So thank you for watching this journey. It's been a trip that I'll remember and cherish forever, so thank you for that, and good night.